Hi, how are you guys? <clears throat> I'm so happy to see you again. In your packets, can you find your Scholastic Muse? It's called Let's Find Out. Can you find that in there? It has a picture of a little boy and he's thinking. It's called Holiday Needs and Wants. Okay, did you find it? Find that in a pencil, okay? We're gonna write our name across the bottom, okay? I'm gonna write my name. You write yours. If you know how to write your last name, you write your last name too, okay? I'm gonna write my name on it. It says, it is holiday time. There are things we want, but what do we need? So sometimes there's things that we want to have, like that would be really cool and fun if we had, but there's also things that we need to have in order to stay alive and be healthy, okay? So that's what this is going, this um, article is gonna teach us about, okay? So let's open up to the inside and let's find out about wants and needs, okay? We're gonna read the title at the top, ready? It says, do you need it or want it? We need some things to live. Oh, do you see one of our sight words? Do you see one of them? If you do, make sure that you circle it, okay? All right. Let's start with the green box. It says, healthy food and water keep your body working. You need them to live, okay? So you need healthy foods. Do you need to have McDonald's to live? No, that would be an example of a want. But do you need to eat fruits and vegetables and drink water? Yes, those are the things that you need to keep your body energized. Do you need to eat candy and cookies? No, those are wants, okay? Let's look at the blue square. Shelter keeps you safe and warm. You need shelter like a house to live, okay? You don't need a huge fancy mansion, right? You don't have to live in a castle. You just need to have something that keeps you safe and warm, like a house, okay? Or maybe an apartment, or maybe even a tent would be a sufficient type of shelter, okay? Just something to keep you safe and warm. All right, let's look in the purple box. It says, friends and family love and take care of us. We all need love. That's something that we need to have is love. Okay, let's look in the orange box. Ooh, a sweet treat is fun to eat. You may want it, but you don't need it, right? We talked about that a little bit. It might be something that is a cool thing to have every once in a while, but it's not something that we need. And in the red box, it says, toys are nice to have. You might want a lot of them, but you don't need them, okay? It's a want, not a need. So if you have so many toys, like we talked about earlier, or yesterday, it, that would be a nice thing for you to do is maybe take a toy you haven't played with in a while and give it to somebody else, okay? All right, let's look in the yellow. It says, talk about it. We need clothes to protect our bodies. Which of these do you need? Do you need sneakers for school or roller skates? Which one do you need? Do you need to have skates to go to school? No. Would it be kind of fun? Sure. But that's a want, not a need. You need tennis shoes or something to cover your feet for school, right? All right. Let's flip on to the back. Now, remember, you can go back through, like I said, a challenge is to try to find some of our sight words. We've got a, the, my, um, what other ones am I missing? I, go, if you can find those in there, you circle them, okay? On the back, it says, what do you need? What do you want? Circle the things you need. Put an X by things that you want. Okay, so what is something that we need? Do we need cookies? No, we want them, so we're going to put an X on them. Do we need healthy food like fruits and vegetables? Yes, so we're gonna circle it, okay? Do you need love from your family and friends? Yes, that's a need. Do you need candy? No, that would be an example of a want, so we're gonna put an X on it. What about shelter? Do you need some place to stay warm and safe? Yes, that's a need. Do you need to have soda pop? 
that would be an example of a want, right? What about toys? Do you need to have toys? No, it's a nice thing to have. It's a want, but we don't need it. So we're gonna put an X on it. What about water? We definitely need water. Our bodies need water in order to keep us safe. So down here it says, draw a picture of something you want here. What's something that you want to have that you don't need to have? Okay, so maybe you draw a picture of a toy or maybe you draw a picture of roller skates or a new bike or McDonald's Happy Meal, a cookie, a cake, a milkshake. Those would all be examples of things that you want to have but you don't necessarily need them in order to survive, right? So you can draw a picture of whatever you want in that box down there. Does that make sense? Do you understand that there's things that we need to have and then there's things that we want to have? That's a hard concept, especially for you little ones. You, you know, a lot of things feel like you need to have them, but you don't. And so it's something that we learn as we get older about things that we need and want. And so this was a good, a good conversation. So you could now go and talk with your families about the difference between needs and wants. Because sometimes this time of year when we're thinking about Christmas, we're like, oh, I want this toy, I want that toy. But you can also think about the things that you need and what maybe other people need that they don't have and how you can help them, okay? All right, I can't believe K-Week is over already. This week just flew right by, I cannot believe it, but you know what I am so excited for? I am so excited for next week because I get to see you guys and so does Mrs. Peters, we miss you so much. It's been so weird here at school without you guys. And it's been very weird for me talking at, a, at my phone instead of talking at your sweet faces. So I can't wait to see you in person next week. It's going to be a fun week. We're going to get ready for Christmas. And we are going to have an amazing week talking about baby Jesus and all of the things that we do before we get ready for Christmas. Okay? So I miss you all. And I love you all very much. And I can't wait to see you again. We made it through these two weeks apart and I can't wait to see you. So you can have a really great weekend and I will see you here on Monday morning here at school, which will be really awesome, okay? So before we go home today, I always say that because I'm about to go home. You're not, you're already at home. Before we finish school for today, let's say our prayer, okay? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. All right, boys and girls, you have a good weekend, okay? And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.